Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am I am in chill out after finishing a project mode. I have finished as you know the um the fairy journal for Naomi and I usually like to take a couple days and just do some random crafting just to kind of come down from the <laughs> from the project. So let's say hi and hugs, and then I'll tell you what this is all about. Hi and hugs to Cynthia, Rosemary, Glennis, and Anne. Thank you so much for your comments and your, and watching and all of that. Um, yeah, so I have this drawer and it's, it's just over there. And I've just been throwing in random leftovers of um of digital kits these are from a stamperia pack so i'm going to see if we can make some things and actually use these <laughs> so that you know they're 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 useful and they're made into some sort of ephemera that i can pop in here and there into my projects First, though, I have to show you. So, you know, you know the merch, the Gail Augustinelli merch. The Ink and Think line is out. Well, as the other products come in, I wanted to show them to you. So this is the coffee cup. Isn't it so cute? And then it's got Gail Augustinelli on the back. But, yeah, and it comes in a whole bunch of colors. Of course, I got teal. So yeah, so I'm I'm excited about that. I am thinking, since I do water, I really don't drink coffee when I'm crafting. I'm thinking of using this for my pencils. <laughs> Just to have it right up here with my pencils in it. So okay. So anyway, and the, all the merch is down below the video, and there is a link in the where to find me area of my description box. So, yeah. Oh, gosh, look at this. Oh, and I'm doing a purple journal next. Okay, let's play with these two. See, see what we want to do with those. I have an idea. Let's grab out. This is the lovely book pages from my pal Rachel at Roxy Creations. I'm thinking, would it be kind of fun to make like a little booklet type of thing? Oh, look at how cool that is. Oh, that's just kind of the right size. We could put some washi on there to reinforce that. I think on both sides, probably needs it on both sides. Now, how big is this? That's always... We got to make sure it'll fit in a journal. Okay, so it's about seven and a half, and it's about five wide. Could we maybe? We could either make it a flip out, or it could be just um, glued on the page, I think. Okay. Let's get started. Excuse my reach. I'm just going to go around this a little bit. What I'm thinking is I could put maybe some pattern paper in as the pockets or something. I don't know that I have any purple washi tape. Let's look here. Um, this is kind of purple. It's kind of wide, but maybe this one. It's like purple clouds. That will work. Okay. I'm just going to hop in. I don't know what we're up to here. Oh, look, S. Agostino. Can you see that? Let me see if I can get it up to the camera right right above my thumb there. It says Agostino. 
Yeah, I've seen that name before. I actually saw it when I went to Italy. It was on a sign somewhere. Um, and, ooh, I don't like it when it does that. Um, and I have to believe some, maybe it's some long lost relative of my husband. Some generations back kind of a person. Okay, now I'm just going to be fiddling with this for a minute. Got to go slow. I feel like all, uh, all of my washi is old and it gets a little... Somebody said to put it in the microwave for 10 seconds, but... You know, my microwave's upstairs, so <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Um, anyway, it's kind of fun to, to see that name because then it's like, hmm, I wonder if it's a, an ancestor. But then the other theory is that when... Mike's grandpa came to America. Sometimes they gave them names at Ellis Island. They didn't always keep whatever their surname was. Sometimes they gave them names. Okay, that's good. Maybe put some in the middle down this way too, I think to make sure um so who knows who knows um we don't have any clue about any family history on my husband's side really other than you know the stories that he remembers or you know what was told to him as a kid or whatever but um more history on my side of the family I guess um, I'm mostly Scottish, and our family was from the Declan, uh, Declan clan, I think is what it was. I don't know. I have a magnet that one of my cousins gave me with the name of the clan on it up on my refrigerator, <laughs> but I can't remember it right off. I think it's Declan. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'll try and look at it and tell you. But anyway, um, I'm a mutt kind of. Scotch, Irish, English, Dutch, and German. I'm probably more German than anything because my mom was like pretty much full German. And no. Yeah, my dad was Scotch, Irish, English, and Dutch. And my mom was German. And, um, and then Mike's mom was German. So we've teased our kids that they're actually more German than Italian. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I might like to put this on as a top loading pocket like that. Then ink and think. <laughs> I mean, this would be kind of cool in a, um, I'm not going to do the rest of them because they are already aged, but just, just for the cover. Yeah, I think I'll put that on his pocket. You know, it doesn't have to be used. It can just be, this is pretty, it's pink on the other side. So I think some of this ephemera came with Etsy orders. Some is left over from various projects and that sort of thing. But I just thought, let's make it into something that I can put in my journals. And it feels like a manageable project today. I'm Okay, so there's that. And then I was thinking I could put a couple little pockets in here and still have quite a bit of the pretty text showing, right? 
So let's see, what do I have? Oops. One second. Just pulling my project cart closer. I know you guys want me to do a tour of that, and I'll try and remember to do that one of these days, but oh, that one, one might be pretty. Let's do that one. Okay, let's see here. Okay, this is from Nancy's Fancies. Nancy's Fancy Beads. It's a pretty pansy um, digital. Okay, we need to cut off a little bit. This is great because I really did want to come up with something to use these book pages that were and actually I could put it in the signature too couldn't I that would be nice and then we're not covering up the back so that might be what we do okay so then how tall do I want these pockets mm hmm Maybe about there, but I'm going to cut it a little higher because I'm going to fold it over just to strengthen it a bit. Okay. Okay, okay. So I could go over like that, but I think I'm going to make them separate. Yeah, I think I am. Pencil. Pencil. This will be going back into the coffee cup. <laughs> oh, so much fun. I'm going to have so much Gail Agassinelli merch because, I mean, I have to, I have to see what they all look like and everything. Yeah, it's on my brain because today's the day that it went live. Um even though it went live well before this is filming. Because, you know, I'm filming ahead to go take care of granddaughters. Here. Okay. Pink, right in the ink and think mug. <laughs> okay. So I think I want to go right about there with these and I'm just gonna just gonna do that just to yeah. Okay. That's good. Let's uh get my blue book and we'll just Use the glue stick and glue those down a little bit, the edges. Oopsie. Okay. Well, that's not straight. straight. I don't know what I was doing on that one. Okay. Um, we might want a little lace on these pockets or something too, huh? This paper's real pretty, Nancy, when you distress it. It's real pretty anyway, but distressing looks neat on it. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this lace because it's just handy as can be. And what if we put that across there? Yep, 
That's what I want to do. So, I had a doctor's appointment this morning and I got home and my son had made the merch live. <laughs> I was like, yikes. Oh, it's so out of my comfort zone, but it's so fun. I've had so much fun working with him. He's just the best. I just love my son. Don't we just love our kids? They're just the best. And thankfully, he's very tech competent because I'm sure some of the things that I've asked him, he's probably just inwardly rolling his eyes. <laughs> Mom, you're, you're so tech ignorant. I sure am. That is a true statement. So wouldn't be doing... Well, I have to say in my own defense that as far as starting YouTube and everything, I did all that myself. But... Um, But website stuff and doing this fun merch, he has he has definitely taken the lead on that. Okay, okay. So we have a couple of pockets for the inside. We're just actually making an ephemera piece. Gonna put those on like this. And I'm excited because I've really wanted to use these book pages, but I mean, it was together. I thought, oh, I've got to have that for like a in the signature or something. And I don't have the signature sewn into that journal yet, so my timing's good here. I could put these in there okay so a couple little pockets there we want to do if anything on the back you know it'd be fun is just to put a little something down that edge but do I have um, thought in this bucket here no I thought I had some edge stuff on there, but maybe not. I've got some ribbony stuff. I've got some lace. I thought I had some borders. Oh, I have these. Is there a purple one in there? Let's check it out. Anna Griffin, these are. Border collection. I don't know. I've had them forever. Well, nope, there's brown and kind of a maroon. Not going to work. Okay, I'm going to look in my ephemera stuff. I think I have some that is cut out somewhere. And I'm standing on my head. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this needs to move to the top of my cart, but I've been waiting because I was going to um, I was going to do a video so I could kind of show you. Oh, here's a couple more. I thought there were a couple more. Can't wrap that around because I already put a pocket there. But I could just... Just cut that 
right here. Let's just put that on there. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Try and make sure it's straightish. And I have a little piece to use for something else. Okay, put these back. Let's see, it's like cutting out all of that different ephemera that comes with the kits. And I don't know that I have ever used every single bit of ephemera from a kit. I don't think I ever have. So, then you end up with these little extras and it's like, what am I going to do with them? Well, I am going to make them into stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Pages aren't necessarily cut straight <laughs> from these old books, but I like that. Might like something there, like a. Oh, one second. Printed out these labels from a jewel design, and what I was thinking is I printed one on some purple paper. So I was thinking about maybe putting a little label down there of some sort, like maybe this one. Can't be, can't be super big. Let's just see. I'm loading the Etsy Share video as we speak, which would have aired last week with these labels. So <laughs> um, I'm taking a I'm taking a risk cutting them up that that's gonna load okay and everything. Somebody asked me about my little scrap bucket, which I cleaned out. You can see that or my little basket, um, it is, oh, that's pretty. Kind of want something behind it. Um, yeah, what's this? What's this? This is part of a book binding. That's kind of cool. I'll put that on there. It's kind of, I don't know. Or do I like this one better? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's been one of those days. My brain is just like, oh my gosh. Because of course, doing the whole merch thing, not everything went perfectly the first time with um, getting the links and everything to do what they were supposed to do. You know, um, I've decided the reason I'm not good at tech stuff is because it takes a lot of patience when, you know, because things don't always work first time every time. And I want them to. <laughs> so I've decided that's why I'm not that good at it. I just don't have the patience. I'm like, I want it to work first time every time. And when it doesn't, the figuring out of what went wrong 
Of course, one of the errors was my typing. Sheesh. So, anyway. But we got it now, I think. Okay, so. Little pocket here. And this is just kind of a page to go into that journal, I think. Okay, that's cute. I like that. That's item number one. Let's do something with this bunny. He's super cute. I feel like he needs to be like um, the focal point of a journal cover or something. Um, let's see. What I like to back him on. I'm thinking nature type. Let me grab my scraps. Because I have a plethora of rectangular scraps and I'm thinking something might reveal itself there. Like that's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Okay, how big is this? This is just a little over four, so that's good. I think I could make this five wide. Okay. We'll keep those because those might come in handy for another project too. Um, so I think I might go five here. Leaves a little strippy. And then this way, probably maybe six and a half ish. Six and a half. Like that. I kind of think I want like a fancy cut there. Do I have any? I don't know that I have any right up here. No, I need to grab in. There we go. Let's try this one. See if it's empty. It is. Let's see how it works. This is just a paper studio from Hobby Lobby. It's hanging in there though. Got to give it. Got to give it props. It's a little bit. The blue fern is such thick. Oh nice thick paper but um makes it hard to punch or anything okay throw that back in there okay let's ink this and this piece of paper is from the fairy whispers collection And I have to say, it looks absolutely awesome inked. So pretty. Okay, so there's that. I can just kind of fit that right in there like that. Kind of wondering about a little bit of lace right there. Boy, 
Um, I'll work with this. Actually, maybe if I put it mostly on the bunny card, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. It's always figuring out which side is right side, the correct side. Run a little bead right there. And I'm going to put almost all of it on the bunny card. Okay, let's glue this down. I don't think I want anything underneath of it. I'm not making a pocket or anything. Just going to glue it down. Okay, so I think that that will do that until I can find the, I mean, it could be a journaling card. We could put paper on the back, but I think I'd like it on the cover of a journal. I think that's so cute. And when we put it on the cover of a journal, we could embellish it more. I don't know, put some flowers here or something like that, but that is the base anyway. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Um, I love these. These are from New Vintage Art Designs on Etsy. A little envelope. This one would be good for fall. Let's play with those two a little bit. How are we doing for time? Oh, good. Just a half an hour. Okay, so about a quarter till or so. Okay, so these little lovelies. Got a little bit of a jagged edge there. Mike did these on the scan and cut. Yeah, not a fan. It didn't do what I want to do. I mean, I might as well just cut it out myself if I have to trim everything up. At least it didn't go into the design like it does on a lot of things. Um, this one seems to be okay. Yeah, so anyway. I don't have, there's not a lot of things I have a bad review for, but that one. I mean, I know that there's a lot of YouTubes on, you know, how to use it and all of that. But I don't have time to mess with it. And as I told you, I have no patience with technology. <laughs> None at all. So. Okay. So do this. See, look at how it cut that out. See that? Sheesh, dumb thing. But it'll be under the glue, so it's okay. I have a friend who wants it, so that's going to be the end of my the end of my little trial and error with scan and cut. Okay, I'm going to just do a little on the edge here. And then this edge. And we'll have an envelope. 
Okay. There's that one. Except that I think I'll I'll put something on it, a label or something. Oh my gosh, so got a thing in an Etsy order that had an embossed label. It was a fancy label. But I am thinking I could use my signet stamps and those labels and be able to do a little embossed label here, there, and everywhere. Doesn't that sound so cute? Haven't done it yet, but... Might give that a whirl. This is looking cool. I'll just stress. These are really beautiful designs from this new vintage art designs. The kind of get in ink everywhere. It's kind of how how I, how I roll with this juicy ink pad it's been so much fun having an ink pad that I don't have to just like stomp my little dauber on it to get it to do anything it's been great okay there's that one oops let's go this way well we could do a little we could do a little closure on these um, like, oops, like a small one of these. Ooh, I like this one. I do that one for that one, and maybe the green for this one. I'm thinking, although. Okay, that's pretty darn cute. But I was also thinking I've got some green leaves here. These are from Marilyn's Mercantile. I just did another order from her <laughs> because, um, oh, that's just too cute. I think we need to do the leaf. Because um, she's got different papers than I do. I do now have this dye. But she's, she had some really cool papers. And so, you know, and I do like supporting my Etsy friends. Oh, look at those veins. Do you think I could? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, there's that one. Okay, let's put those on there and then we'll decide about the front, whatever we want to do there. Okay, I think if I just go from there to the stem, I should be good. Super cute. Okay, and then this one will go like here. And that goes like that. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's see if we have. look at these and see if there's a well I don't know if there's one of my made labels but we'll take with that we'll start with that how about um oh gosh I'm thinking on this one you know what I'm thinking is I'd like a Tracy 
Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals, one of her botanical. Yep. Yeah, right there. That's that's going to finish that one off, I think. peasy but now now that's decorated decorated and can just slip in a journal yeah I don't want to cover up any of that it's just too pretty okay I'm gonna call this one done it's that cute slipping into that leaf I love that okay there's that one. This one. Hmm. There's quite a few. There's woodland. Fern. Leaf. Woodland works the best. I am wondering, do I want a little stamp or something? I feel like it needs more than the label, more so than that other one did. Is there some in here? There. I kind of want a brown-ish color. these out and see. Okay, there's a brown. There's a brown. And a green. What about these two? That's kind of fun. Let's do that. Just a little bit of decoration to kind of help out these envelopes to have just a little bit more um, texture to them and layers, if you will. Okay. And I'm not going to distress the edges of these. They're old enough looking. That one and it will go down a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that, and then it's got the little medallion closure. Okay, we did a couple envelopes. That's very, very fun. What is this? This is a ticket. <laughs> um, Ingen Bank. It looks like a good tuck to me. what it looks like. So, what if we, okay, what if we, let me grab this piece of coffee bag paper. Let's do, let's do a page because I have all those Mass made pages. Oh, that's close. Yeah, that's real close, but I think it will work. But that's what it reminds me of is a little 
little page embellishment. Wow, that is so close, but I think it will work. right to the edge <laughs> Oof, right to the edge okay um oops i need to get more glue in this um dangles so heavy that it makes my glue fall over And, you know, I just, I kind of love it when things are, you know, I mean, this could go in a nature journal. It could go in some kind of a floral journal because it's, it's just birds. It's nothing too specific. I'm going to put that in there because it kind of goes with it. Let's just see in our pile if there's anything else we could put into this is fun. 1961 Boy Scouts of America Exposition. I'm going to put this over here and we're going to put you there so you cover up that little bent corner and maybe straighten that out a little. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, there's one that goes with it too. Okay. Cool. Look at that. That would be kind of cool too. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna make a page here. Sorry, I don't remember who all these are from because, like I say, I don't even know on some of them because they came from, you know, extras from an Etsy order. And I do try to, if I have um, digitals left over from, from a certain project, I do kind of try to just add those in with when somebody buys the journal. Otherwise, you do, you just end up with a whole bunch of pieces, and it's like, what, do, what am I going to do with these? <laughs> Unless you do another one of the journals, but then you'll probably print the ephemera again and have the leftovers. Okay, I like that. That's a cute page. Yeah. And we can just leave the rest blank. Okay, so that's going to go in my little bin over there with uh, journal pages that are that are finished um we have all these all these baby things but it's not baby all these are baby I don't have need of baby right now a couple of cute tags we can make those up. So I'm going to put these back, these baby ones back in here. I don't know if we'll use them for anything in, in this project or not. Okay, let's back these. I think they're, yeah, they're just, they're white cardstock. So I think we could, could back them. Okay. Just have this book page that's, um, ugh. Guys, I just really gobbled up my glue again. I gotta remember that it's softer than usual because it's so hot here. 
so hot. Okay. Goodness sakes, I made a mess. And then this one, I think we'll get rid of this blue page. It's got more glue on it than it knows what to do with. So, okay, let's just glue this one. All right. Okay, so a couple little tags here. They're all backed and inked and ready to go. We'll find a journal that they go in. This one looks like it would go in a little, like a pink shabby chic really nicely. Actually, both of them would. Okay. This one just a square one. Square, more so rectangle, Gail. Okay. So let's punch a hole and ink them and decide if there's something that we want to. Add to them or are they okay as they are? Okay. My little teal mug matches my teal hot lamp, I just realized. I'm going to round this slightly. The other one was rounded, so... Ooh, I really like that book page on the back. It's a nice creamy color. Okay. We've got a giant truck going by. We're going to get a call in. We may be doing some major construction around here. We'll see what the estimate comes out to, but we need to replace the windows in our upstairs. Like some of them don't close <laughs> and some of them don't open. And so, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave those two as they are because they'd be cute tucked in. Okay, we'll call those done. Um, anyways, and then, oh, how cute is that? But that's Valentine's Day. These little fairies are super cute. Already did a fairy journal, though. And this is Easter. And that's not Easter, but there's some other Easter's in here. This is Easter. This is Easter. And then just some plain bunnies. Probably Valentine's Day. Ooh, there's a label. Oh, there's another little tag. That's super cute. Some of these, like, I wish I did know where they came from, you know? That's cute. That's cute. Okay. These are all doable. Maybe we'll... 
do of that real quick. See, the Easter ones I'll put back in there. These can just... Um, anyway, so the windows need replacing. The siding actually needs replacing. It's the original siding on the house and it's been painted multiple times. And then we need all our decks fixed, which which means new. Um, and we try we got a guy to come out and give us a bid on that, but he came out and then he never never gave us a bid. This was like in March he came out. And I know that construction has been like totally wacky since COVID, but oh my gosh. It's frustrating. It's like we're ready to do this stuff and can't get anybody to do it. But we thought maybe if we do, we found a place that would do everything. So maybe if we give them a call, they'll be more apt to do it because, um, let's see here. Let's use this because um, it would be a bigger job, you know. Like, we had one place tell us they wouldn't even give us an estimate on doing our decks because it wasn't a big enough job. <laughs> so, yeah. So I guess you have to have a big old job before you can get anybody to pay any attention to you <laughs> these days. Oh, Uh, gone are the days that, you know, they were excited to get the business. So we're just hopeful that this other place will do the whole job. But, oh, that's going to be like a big old mess, isn't it, to do all those things. Our house is going to be completely torn up on the outside. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if we can get them to call us back and if we have the guts to jump in. I'm scared of how much it's going to cost. <laughs> Yikes. But, but, you know, it's one of those things if you keep um, putting off at some point the you haven't maintained your house and you know you need to protect the investment of the house for sure okay that's super cute um, let's do this I feel like it could have something at the bottom of this so what I'm not quite sure um, too big too big just looking through to see if there's anything in here I think these are too wide um, it's all this stuff holy macaroni there's a bunch of stuff in here from Carolyn's Craft Tree. Caroline's Craft Tree. Just gonna see if there was something. Oh, that's not gonna do. What about this down there? Yep, then that uses up two pieces. <laughs> 
So that's a win. That's a win. Another tag. That's cute. Okay. I think we might be about out of time. Oh my gosh, yes we are. So super quick, I'll show you what we did today. We just worked out of that little ephemera drawer and we got some stuff done. We got three little tags done. We got this page ready to go into a journal. Got a couple of envelopes done and they're backs. Oopsie. Backs. <laughs> and we got a journal um, focal point for a journal cover. And then we got this little page to go in a signature. So thanks, everybody, for helping me go through my drawer. Thanks for all you do for me. And we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everybody. Bye-bye.